The Ghana Health Service Wednesday began the rollout of the second dose of the AstraZeneca vaccines, expected to reach some 360,000 people. Joy news checks from various centers in Accra showed many enthusiastic people queuing to receive their second jabs. My colleague Kwekwe Santi has been touring some of the centers and files this report. Long and slow moving queues at vaccination centers as enthusiastic Ghanaians who have taken their first jab line to take the second dose. Ghana received 350,000 additional doses from the COVAX facility after an initial 600,000 that inoculated the population in the first phase. The vaccine is safe. That is the message those who have taken their first job are preaching and urging others to take the vaccine when they have the opportunity. No, there is nothing to fear about this exercise. Uh, this morning when I was on the way coming, even a friend Stop me, don't go, don't go, you'll die. Oh. No, the first one, I mean, no side effect. And then likewise, the, 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 the second one. So I'm appealing to Ghanaians that there is no fear in this. You see, let, let keep Ghana alive. When we are alive, Ghana will be alive. I see it as a positive way to protect myself and other people around me. And so we, it should be taken serious. And it's something that I feel that it's our duty to protect ourselves and protect other people's lives too. They, they should be bold and take the vaccine because it's good. It's good for our health. So they should be bold and take the vaccine. At the Mamobi General Hospital, Ayawasu North Municipal Health Director, Sophia Quest says her checks at various vaccination centers showed a smooth process thus far. So far, so good. It's going on smoothly. And uh, our expectation was that we were expecting people, just a few number, but it's been very encouraging and we hope that it will, it will continue in the coming days. The schedule says that uh, for those who were vaccinated from 1st to 9th March are due for this second dose. However, there's a, a message going around Telling, giving them a text message as to the exact date they should come for this second dose. So based on the date you are given, you are expected to come for your second dose. So I'm sure they are going just by the date. But in case anybody comes in and may, may not have received, but then falls within the first to the ninth March, we'll go ahead and give it to them. We'll not deny anybody of the vaccine. Ghana's vaccination efforts are currently ongoing. And today the country has commenced inoculating the population that took its first dose. From today until some time, those who have taken their first job are eligible to go to the various municipal health centers and vaccination centers they took their first job and take the second. Government is hoping that by the end of this year it will achieve a certain level of herd immunity. But there are those who have questioned that the current vaccination efforts, the number of people we've been able to vaccinate so far, may make it impossible for the country to be able to achieve that. But so far, the Ghana Health Service is assuring that it is doing all it can to be able to procure enough vaccines to inoculate the population. The Serum Institute of India, the world's largest vaccine manufacturer and a manufacturer of the AstraZeneca vaccines, plans to extend its halt on COVID-19 vaccine exports until the end of the year in a blow to countries like Ghana, which depends on it to start or continue their vaccination campaigns. But government of Ghana has been assuring it is in touch with other vaccine manufacturers to secure doses for the population. And Erastos Asaridonko joins me from Komase with uh, how the, the rollout went in that part of the country. Think, uh, hello, Erastos. So how did it go in Komase? Here in Accra, there were a few hitches here and there. Here, I, I was uh, general. Uh, many places uh, could not start the vaccination uh, due to, uh, one, a delay in getting materials, uh, i.e. vaccine. Uh, the new card with enhanced features. And then there was also a problem uh, with the data system. Um, those who are taking the first uh, job, and so they had their data in the system. They were expecting that they could enter the data so that when they mentioned their names or give, give their cards, they could check and verify them and approve them for the second uh, vaccine. That wasn't working. And so for 
uh, KNUST hospital, for example, uh, some people came as early as 4 a.m. and queued. But then, as at about 10 a.m., uh, they, they did not have the card with them, and so they couldn't start. The card came in around 4 p.m. 4 p.m., they started, uh, vaccinated about three people, and then there was a problem with the data system. They couldn't identify the people, and so they had to stop the whole vaccination process uh, and, and postpone it to tomorrow. So they are expecting that authorities in Accra will fix uh, the problem with the data so that tomorrow they can start the vaccination. But do you know, have the health authorities said anything at all as to the, the hitches that came up? Well, I have been getting snippets of information from uh, the doctors in charge of the uh, vaccination program uh, at, at certain centers. And what they are saying is that they went for a workshop, they were trained, they were told that the materials will arrive a day before the vaccination day. But many of the materials started arriving at that same day that they were doing the vaccination. And so uh, there were hitches here and there. The data system they were expecting to work uh, could not work. They've been notified that it's being fixed as we speak. So uh, starting tomorrow morning, they expect that the system will work uh, for people to take their second job. All right, thank you very much, uh, Erastus Asaradon, for bringing us that update from Kumasi in the Ashanti region. Let's get to the COVID-19 dashboard of the Ghana Health Service and see what the status is now. So there are 66 new cases and there are 1,325 active cases as we speak. Confirmed cases now stand at 93,456. A total of 783 deaths and the recoveries 91,348.